What's going on you guys? This is D22 with you today and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that annoying Game Center pop-up. Now, let me show you what I mean here. So, we're going to open up our iOS menu and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and I'll show you the error that I mean when we get it. So, I'm just going to enable my Wi-Fi. We're going to turn on the Wi-Fi here and then we'll show you what it's like. So, I'm going to connect to my network and then we're going to wait until the network connects here. So we're just going to wait, wait, wait. As you can see, this iPhone 3GS, yes, 3GS, I know it's old, has been jailbroken. So this is how I can use it without a SIM card. So I'm not going to show you how to jailbreak the phone. That's in another person's video. So we're connected to the network now. So here's what I mean. We are going to go into a game that requires the game center. So for example, Let's go to AppZilla. I don't know if you have AppZilla here, but it is a really great app for your phone. 150 apps in one. Get it in the App Store. Link in the description. Push for the notifications. And then, let me show you something. When you're connected to the Wi-Fi, when you're connected to the Internet, you go to a game where you play Blackjack. And then you go and we're going we're gonna to start a new game in progress. So we're going to place our bets. And then we're going to deal the cards. And then we're going to hit. You win. And then look, this thing pops up. Now, for 3GS users, if you have a jailbroken phone, you can't cancel out of this. See? You see? Look, you can't cancel out of here. And then, let's say, let's say when you sign in, we'll just enter some useful information here. We're going to go sign in. Look what happens. You're stuck on this screen. That is a pain in the butt. Now this may happen for you when you have games with Game Center. Don't let it happen. So here's what we're going to do. This is the real fix for me when it comes to disabling Game Center. You go to settings. You turn off your internet. You go back into the game where it enables Game Center. So same thing again. Now we're going to play back blackjack again. So we're going to go play. And we're going to start a new game. And then we're going to place our bets. Then we go hit. And then we're going to go stand. You win. There. The game center window is not appearing this time around. We're going to try another game. Let's say you have an iPhone 3GS that's jailbroken and then that appears. We're going to play Angry Birds. So we're going to open Angry Birds right now. And we're going to see if that same message appears now that we've disabled Wi-Fi. Error occurred when accessing Game Center because we disabled it. So we don't need Game Center. Game Center is a horrible add-on for iOS systems. Can I get a thumbs up when you say that? I freaking hate Game Center. So what we're going to do gonna play it here here you know what let's 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 put let's let's bring up a scenario where we have our internet enabled for angry birds now this is for people that have jailbroken their phones so let's say for example you turn on your Wi-Fi you want to access game center yada da 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 and you want to play one of your favorite games on here now just to let you know guys and gals that this is an iPhone 3GS running 6.1.6 .6 iOS and it's jailbroken so this is how I'm able to use the phone with no SIM card and I'm able to f use it now I got this at no more rack for hundred and sixty bucks from five hundred dollars which is a freaking awesome deal so let's say that your internet let's just zoom in let's say that your internet is re-enabled on your phone and then you want to go oh blurry sorry let's say that you want to play Angry Birds. Angry Birds is notorious for the Game Center settings. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back, 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 back. We're going to open. We're going to close Angry Birds, and then we're going to just see if the Game Center thing pops up again. Just to give you an example of what it does. Now I hate Game Center. Like I said before. Game Center is like one of the worst add-ons that you could put in 
and iOS. I mean, what's the point of it? I mean, why does everybody want to know your score? So we're going to try it with the internet enabled. So here we go. We're playing Angry Birds. It's loading the game. And look, the game center. So let's say that you're trying to sign in. So you enter your Apple ID. Let's say you want to enter your user information, password, sign in. You see? Uh-uh. No way. No way we're going to deal with that. No way we're going to deal with that. So let me show you what, we, what I did again to disable Game Center. I mean, this is a workaround. I mean, you can download apps from the App Store. You can use Cydia if you have it. But if you don't want this Game Center message to pop up, play your games without internet. Disable your data, disable your Wi-Fi, and play the game. So that's how you do it. Temple Run uses Game Center. Fruit Ninja uses Game Center. Angry Birds and Grabatron and Draw Something uses Game Center. So does Memory Plus. I don't know about Wordflow, but Wordflow may not be associated with Game Center. But we're going to try Angry Birds again. We're going to open up Angry Birds again. And this time we won't get that stupid Game Center message because we just removed it. So to me, you guys have a really hard situation when it comes to jailbreaking your phone. Or especially an iPhone 3GS because Game Center won't work. You see, Game Center didn't appear for me and I'm able to play the game without a hit. Without any problems. You see that? Now I know I'm horrible at the game, so we're not here to I know we're not here to watch me play Angry Birds. So that's how I essentially disabled the game center messages. You just disable your internet. And then when you want to browse the internet, you can just turn on Wi-Fi again. So that's how you do it, guys and gals. And this is just my step of doing it because Game Center is an app that you could not disable in the iOS software unless you use Cydia or an app with Cydia in it but Game Center is stuck for life but if you want to play a game without Game Center you can just disable it so that's it for me guys and gals get fueled for life and thanks for watching bye bye